Are you experiencing Joe 2 registration failed? Or maybe you are not receiving the Joe 2 registration capture code after you have registered. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can fix that without wasting much of your time. Let's get down to business. All right, there are two ways to fix this. So let's cancel this registration process and come out here. The first method is via Facebook. So you can log in with your Facebook account, which you can see down here. And the second method is to skip the whole process together, which you can see the ignore option up here. So let's ignore the whole process. When you select that, it's going to take you to the background activities permission page where you can see your current phone brand there. Right? So if your phone is not showing up, you can just come to this uh, double arrow here and select it and it's going to show you your phone brand here. If your phone is not on the list, please select other brands. All right. Just select other brands down here. So as you can see, mine is Samsung because I'm using the Samsung phone here. The next thing to do is to go to the setting option, which is go to set option down here. Then you select it and I want to give Joe to app the notification permission. As you can see, we are at the app info page. Select this notification option here and toggle on notification for Joe to app. Once you have done that, you are going to see options like this coming up depending on your phone brand. Then you can now select back option and select back once again. And you are here. Once you have done that, the next thing to do is to select ignore. And when you select ignore down there, then you select your gender and continue the rest of the process. So let me just use random female. You press the forward arrow, select your height, forward arrow, select your weight, forward arrow, select your date of birth, forward arrow, and the target steps, which is 8,000, you select complete at the bottom of the smartphone. When you select that, it's going to show you select device. This is where you, you are going to connect your Orimo Watch Pro proper or any Orimo Watch using Joe 2 app. Now, as you can see on my smartwatch, it is not connected yet. So I'm going to connect it right now. So the next thing to do here is to select device. When you tap on that, it's going to ask you for permission to connect. Okay, so you select I got it. And Joy Boy 2 app want to access your location. Select why using this app. As you can see, it's requesting for confirmation of the GPS, so it wants to turn it on. So let Joy Boy 2 app turn our location on for us. And we'll turn it on by ourselves. And agree user permission. Then you go back. Now let's continue with the process once again. As you can see on the searching page, our Watch Pro has just shown up. This is our Rimo Watch Pro. Then we select it. As you can see, it says connect successfully. Right on the smartwatch, you can see this has changed from red link to white link. That means our Rimo Watch has been connected successfully and the registration has been skipped. Now you can come here and you are going to see some options here. Here, you should have your name and every other details here, okay? So this is where your profile, name, gender, and everything should be. But because we couldn't register it, you can do that later on, all right? So maybe you try it again some other time, but not right away. So that is how to skip the registration of the Joe 2 app in case you are experiencing Joe 2 app registration fail or you are not getting the capture code. If you have any question, drop it down there. Thank you.